Good morning, Cougar fans. I'm Lucas Power alongside Coach Burks, and you're watching Cougar coverage on the Atlanta Central Sports Network. So, Coach, along with our uh, new fancy setup, yeah, let, nice. let's start with uh, high school golf. All right. So, um, last week we told you that high school golf had a big week ahead um, with the boys and the girls competing in Sangamo Conference. Um, we actually had some players for both sides play well. Um, Cooper Thomas medaled in the on the boys' side, and Morgan Peterson, a freshman, actually medaled for the girls. So, um, you know, big two days of golf for them. And that's just going to lead into another big week here. So yeah, and it's good to uh, have a freshman's name up yeah, there sure. and uh, keep hearing all the, the the older people the, to keep coming in and putting up big numbers. Yeah, and so like I said, a lot of momentum coming into this week. Uh, Bailey Ta or Bailey Cruzy actually medaled um, tenth at the Porta Invite on the weekend. She tied with Cooper Thomas, um, so they had to have a scorecard <laughs> playoff, and Bailey ended up winning. So. Little bragging rights for Bailey there, but um, you know, great showing from Cooper as well. So heading into this week, the boys are uh, they have regionals on Wednesday at Country Hills. Um, I know Cooper Thomas believes he has a really good shot. We got Ellis Dallas in here as well. He's gonna have another good shot. Um, a couple of other boys hopefully do well. Um, the girls are at Mount Sterling on Thursday, and our girls team is actually seated second. So. Um, you know, that doesn't guarantee anything, but they got a pretty good shot to advance as a team, so that would be pretty cool. Yeah, and it's good to have a lot of confidence on, on the golf course, and that, that's been a, the thing the last couple of weeks. Definitely. So let's let's move on into uh, high school volleyball. Yeah, high school volleyball. They had a crazy busy week last week. Um, they have another busy week this week. Um, they've had some success. You know, some yeah, other picked, tough... up, picked up a win against yeah. Greenview and then had a couple tough losses, but – yeah, had another sure. tough loss last night. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, beating Greenview. I know we beat Greenview, Midwest Central, Havana. So all of our real close rivals, you know, that's impressive. Um, over the weekend at the Calvary Tournament, Taylor Kine and Madison Hughes both picked up all tournament team honors. So that's really nice for them. Um, very deserving. They, they play extremely hard. Um, so that was good to see. Uh, they are at Riverton tonight for a freshman JV varsity, so five, six, seven, and then Thursday night they're home versus Athens, so another Tomahawk Sangamo um, dual rival here. So you know, big week, uh, more opportunities to win, and we, they're getting close to the end as well. So it's time for them to start building momentum. Yeah, and you said more opportunities to win. There's also more opportunities for these players to get in the game. As mm -hmm. the, you said, the freshman game, that's nice to see. And some of those players don't get in the JV varsity game, so it's good to have the freshman game for them to prepare them for the next yeah. step. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, we finally had the numbers that allowed us to do that. And the Sangama always plays freshman pretty much everything, so we added that for the volleyball. Um, so, yeah, it's nice. That's, that's how you build programs. Yep, so I believe that's it for high school volleyball. Yep. Let's move into high school cross country. All right, high school cross country. Like I said, another Saturday they had um, another big event. They got another one coming up this, this weekend. So they were at um, a meet on Saturday, and Zachary Golden finished in 14th in the JV race. Uh, Riley Dom was 13th in the fresh soft race. And in the girls varsity, Elena Carker was 21st. Um, so that was at a big event at Springfield. And they head to Elmwood this Saturday. Again, both teams are state ranked. Both teams are looking for big postseason success. Uh, so it should be fun to follow. And hopefully they can get some postseason success uh, yeah. playing for or running for a new for a different school, but mm -hmm. they're still representing us, as we said. And uh, I'd like to see them continue on and uh, get really good numbers. For sure. So let's move on into high school soccer. High school soccer, um, they got their record back to 500 last week, so they moved to six and six. Um, now they got another busy week today or this week. They're at home on Thursday, so if you don't have anything going on Thursday night and want to check out our soccer boys, head down to Athens. And then Saturday they are at Warrensburg Latham for a big game. So um, you know our boys keep contributing. Uh, it's been a fun season. I know they're having a blast, and uh, you know hopefully they can continue to pick up wins here. Yeah, and I've talked to all of them, and they all said it. You know they have a great time over there playing oh, yeah. soccer, and it's just I'm glad that that got brought to our school, and hopefully more kids will will go on in there next sure. year and and can help contribute to their team. Exactly. So that's it for high school soccer. Yep, that's it. 
All right, let's move on into middle school side of sports uh, with middle school cross country. Yeah, so middle school, you know, we're still it's kind of a little thin right now. It's going to change very soon, um, but we do have middle school cross country and middle school girls basketball. Um, the middle school cross country team was at the Olympia invite on Saturday, which is always a huge meet. Uh, I know there's 200 kids in each race, which is just crazy. Uh, Jace Tolan got 25th for the boys, and J.C. Allen got 26th for the girls. So good showing from those two, especially when you're running against, you know, another 180 people or so. so. Yeah, and hopefully uh, those middle school cross-country runners keep keep it up, and hopefully we can hear most, most of their names in the future, and hopefully they can continue on yeah. in high school. And they, they have three more chances this week, so that'll be fun. They're at Midwest Central tonight. Um, Thursday night they're at Limestone Walters for another huge event, and then Saturday is the Dare Classic over at Delavan, which is, you know, one of the longest running cross country races in the state so it's a cool event yeah so that wraps it up for middle school cross country yep. let's move on into mr Worley's middle school girls mr Worley's middle school girls picked up a big win last week uh seventh grade beat georgetown uh, market heights um so that's you know it's always good to win um they also played pleasant plains extremely tough last night over in greenview so you know if you're if you're playing pleasant plains tough you know you're doing things right uh, they are at home tonight so come on out to the cougar den we're playing that right here in mason city hosting South Fulton. Um, should be a good game. And then on Thursday night, they're at South Pekin for an early 4.30 start. So they're going to be playing two or three games every week now, um, two or three opportunities. I know we play, you know, some sixth graders playing both games, some seventh graders playing both games. So come on out and support them. Um, I think you'll like what you see. Yep, they got a lot of time to uh, compete and have some fun. For and sure. So uh, that, I think that wraps it up for this week's. Yep. Uh, thank you, for Coach Burks, for sitting down. For sure. And for those who are watching, make sure to look out next week for more crew coverage right here on the Alliance Central Sports Network.